हिम्मत क्या है मोड़ दाने की लाभ जिसका पहुंचे सबको धरती और किसान को भी चलो फिर जगाए आशा आशाओं के दाने की बदले खुद को कर ले वादा अब से अपना नहीं चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है पोषण का सागर जिसमें ज्वार बाज रहा है वो रागी कुटकी और झंगोरा आओ जाने क्या है वो तपती धूप में भी उगे ये जोर ज्यादा मांगे न जो अपना है आज उसे तो कल की सूरत बदले दो चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे चल भारत निरोगी काया ऐसी शक्ति हर दाने में हम जो अपना ऐसे तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हम तो चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे I 
में बेनिरोगी काया ऐसी शक्ति हर दाने में हम जो अपना ऐसे तो दे मुस्कान किसान कभी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको धोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजो very jovial afternoon to you all today we all are here for the celebration of international year of millets 2023 respected ladies and gentlemen i shikha shrivastava research scholar csir national physical laboratory welcome you all on behalf of whole csir family national physical laboratory as well as uh, cftri and uh, soon all the respected dignitaries will join us in this auspicious event in the meantime i would like to tell you uh, more about the international year of millets that has been declared by the united nation nations general assembly so um, millets were among the first crops to be domesticated in india with several evidence of its consumption during the indus valley civilization been grown in more than 130 countries at present millets are considered traditional food for more than half a billion people across asia and africa recognizing the enormous potential of millets which also aligns with several un sustainable development goals the government of india has prioritized millets to grace the occasion i wholeheartedly uh, thank you all and again welcome you all on behalf of the whole family of csir संग 
हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है पोषण का सागर जिसमें ज्वार बाज रहा है वो रागी कुटकी और छंगोरा आओ जाने क्या है वो तपती धूप में भी उगे ये जोर ज्यादा मांगे ना जो अपना है आज उसे तो कल की सूरत बदले वो चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे चल जो अपनाए से तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को हालियों में संजो जो अपनाए से तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी 
वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को हालियों में संजो राष्ट्रीय भौतिकी प्रयोगशाला के इस विशाल सभागार में उपस्थित आप सभी गणमान्य नागरिकों का मैं समस्त परिवार की ओर से हार्दिक स्वागत करती हूं, वंदन करती हूं, अभिनंदन करती हूं। मैं आप सभी से निवेदन करना चाहूंगी कि एक बार कार्यक्रम के प्रारंभ होने पर कृपया अपने फ़ोन साइलेंट रखें सभी स्कूली छात्र छात्राओं से मेरा निवेदन है कि कृपया शांति बनाए रखें यह अवसर है वर्ष 2023 को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर बाजरा वर्ष घोषित किए जाने का सुनने में अत्यंत सामान्य सी प्रतीत होती इस जानकारी इसकी पृष्ठभूमि बताते हुए आपके सामने कुछ अन्य तथ्य रखना चाहूँगी भारत बाजरे का एक प्रमुख उत्पादक देश है जो एशिया के उत्पादन का 80 प्रतिशत एवं वैश्विक उत्पादन में बीस का योगदान देता है किंतु पिछले कुछ वर्षों में इसके उत्पादन में कमी आई है इन्हीं सारे तथ्यों को ध्यान में रखते हुए एवं इसे घरेलू एवं वैश्विक स्तर पर एक प्रमुख फसल के रूप में पुनः प्रतिष्ठित करने के उद्देश्य से भारत सरकार ने वर्ष 2018 को राष्ट्रीय बाजरा वर्ष घोषित किया था वर्ष 2021 में भारत ने संयुक्त राष्ट्र को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय बाजरा वर्ष घोषित करने के लिए वर्ष दो का प्रस्ताव दिया था भारत के इस प्रस्ताव को बहत्तर देशों का समर्थन मिला और संयुक्त राष्ट्र महासभा जिसे हम सभी यूनाइटेड नेशंस जनरल असेंबली के नाम से भी जानते हैं इसने वर्ष 2023 को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय बाजरा वर्ष घोषित किया आज का यह कार्यक्रम इसी उद्देश्य को लेकर आयोजित किया जा रहा है कि अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर पोषण से संबंधी बाजरा के पोषण से संबंधी एवं अन्य सभी आ, प्रकार की विशेषताएं इनके बारे में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को जागरूक किया जा सके बहुत ही जल्दी इस कार्यक्रम के सभी सम्मान्य अतिथिगण हमारे बीच उपस्थित होंगे मैं आप सभी से निवेदन करना चाहूँगी कि कार्यक्रम के दौरान गरिमा बनाए रखें धन्यवाद
कितनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे शक्ति हर दाने में हम जो अपना ऐसे तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको
चमकना है चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है आओ फिर से जाने की मत क्या है मोटे दाने की लाभ जिसका पहुंचे सबको धरती और किसान को भी चलो फिर जगाए आशा आशाओं के दाने की बदले खुद को कर ले वादा अब से अपना नहीं चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है पोषण का सागर जिसमें ज्वार बाज रहा है वो रागी कुटकी और झंगोरा आओ जाने क्या है वो तपती धूप में भी उगे ये जोर ज्यादा मांगे न जो अपना है सूरत बदले वो चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे चल भारत शक्ति हर दाने में हम जो अपना ऐसे तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको दो I'm 
हर दाने में हम जो अपना ऐसे तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है gentlemen all the respected dignitaries have uh, arrived among us and soon we will begin the event
को धरती और किसान को भी चलो फिर जगाए आशा आशाओं के दाने की बदले खुद को कर ले वादा अब से अपना नयनी चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है पोषण का सागर जिसमें ज्वार बाज रहा है वो रागी कुटकी और झलोरा आओ जाने क्या है वो तपती धूप में भी उगे ये जोर ज्यादा मांगे ना जो अपना है आज उसे तो कल की सूरत बदले वो चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को थालियों में संजोएंगे चल भारत भारत चल भारत भारत चल भारत भारत चल जो अपनाए से तो दे मुस्कान किसान को भी वादा कर ले आज चलो सब अपनाएंगे आज से ही चल भारत उठ भारत संग हमको चलना है धरती के हीरो को फिर से अब चमकना है बात इतनी है समझनी अब से इसको बोएंगे खेतों के सोने को हालियों में संजो dignitaries have arrived amongst us we feel honored to have with us honorable chief guest dr jitender singh honorable minister of state independent charge science and technology and earth sciences and also vice president of csir dr shri devi annapurna singh director csir cftri professor venu gopal achanta director csir npl we welcome you all sir mainon mein upje sapno ko sankalp banayenge 
इन स्वप्न लक्ष्य को साथ ले भारत वर्ष सजाएंगे इन्हीं पंक्तियों के साथ मैं मंच पर सादर आमंत्रित करना चाहूंगी हमारे आज के कार्यक्रम के सभी सम्मान्य अतिथियों को कि वे आए एवं अपना स्थान ग्रहण करें कई वर्षों से जो शुष्क है वो उद्यान सजाएंगे उन उद्यानों में भी बढ़ फिर मधुबन सा छाएंगे इन स्वप्न लक्ष्य को साथ ले हम भारत वर्ष सजाएंगे आपकी गरिमामय उपस्थिति से हम सभी अभिभूत हैं और मैं समस्त सी परिवार की ओर से आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत करती हूं, वंदन करती हूं, अभिनंदन करती हूं। नमस्कार मैं खेम सिंह आप सबका स्वागत करता हूं। अब हमारे समक्ष ए की छात्रा सुश्री शिखा श्रीवास्तव वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम राष्ट्र गीत का प्रस्तुत करेगी वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम सुजलाम सुफलाम मलय जशीतलाम शस्य श्यामला मातरम वंदे मातरम शुभ्र ज्योत्सना कार्यक्रम की श्रृंखला को आगे बढ़ाते हुए मैं मंच पर सादर आमंत्रित करना चाहूंगी प्रोफेसर वेणुगोपाल अचंता आदरणीय निदेशक महोदय सी राष्ट्रीय भौतिकी प्रयोगशाला को कि वे आए और आज के कार्यक्रम के सभी मंचासीन अतिथियों का परिचय हमसे करवाने का कष्ट करें afternoon so it is my privilege to welcome <coughs> dr jitendra singh honorable minister of state 
independent charge for the ministries of science and technology earth science minister of state for prime minister uh, prime minister's office personal public grievances and pensions department of atomic energy and space so uh, also dr sri devi annapurna singh uh, is the director of cftri and those uh, uh, directors of csr labs who are in the audience uh, i see one of our uh, most recent directors dr shaukh maithi of igib dr vishwakarma dr anjan ray uh, and also our uh, headquarters uh, colleagues dr viba uh, the cpd head dr satya and dr venkat so we have uh, quite a few csr uh, members here to represent uh, various labs and our colleagues who are online uh, members of the press and uh, also the students and all the um, visitors who are in uh, csr and pl today so <coughs> so um, when we met his uh, holiness uh, dalai lama in october he he mentioned one thing that uh, it is high time uh, we as a nation start relearning what we have given to the world uh, he meant it in terms of uh, spirituality but i guess uh, in terms of even food habits there is lot which we need to relearn and uh, uh, reintroduce to the world so millets is one good example which we are all gathered today csr is at the forefront of innovations that directly embrace the society we all know that as members of the csr family while npl we all know about indelible ink and carbon composite for missiles and time dissemination more rec uh, recently we are into biomedical equipment standards pigments for security uh, inks uh, and and at the same time cftri has a long legacy in uh, food technology uh, starting with the milk powder uh, uh, indigenous development instant food etc so it is uh, our privilege on behalf of uh, the csr family uh, it is my uh, privilege that the event is uh, uh, being organized today to release the calendar on csr in innovations on millets today right. so i welcome you all once again on behalf of uh, csr family and on this occasion i request uh, uh, director dr uh, sri devi to present a flower pot to the minister uh, to welcome uh, him to the occasion So I welcome you all once again, and uh, wish we'll have a um, nice um, meeting today. Right? Thank you. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आदरणीय निदेशक महोदय. प्रत्येक शुभ कार्य के साथ दीप प्रज्वलन की परंपरा लगभग यह सुनिश्चित कर देती है कि प्रारंभ किया गया कार्य कुशलता पूर्वक अपने उद्देश्य को प्राप्त करेगा. इस कार्य के कुशल संपादन में नवोत्साह एवं नवचेतना की आधारशिला रखने की भावना के साथ ही मैं मंचासीन समस्त अतिथियों से निवेदन करना चाहूंगी कि वे कृपया दीप प्रज्वलन कर आज के कार्यक्रम का शुभारंभ करें मैं राष्ट्रीय भौतिकी प्रयोगशाला की शोध छात्रा कुमारी कोमल भारद्वाज से निवेदन करना चाहूंगी कि वे कृपया मंचासीन समस्त अतिथियों का सहयोग प्रदान करें दीप ज्योति परम ज्योति दीप ज्योति जनार्दना दीपो हर तुमे पापम दीप ज्योति नमोस्तुते शुभम करो तु कल्याणम आरोग्यम सुख संपदा द्वेष बुद्धि विनाशाय आत्मज्योति नमोस्तुते आत्मज्योति प्रदीप्ताय ब्रह्मज्योति नमोस्तुते ब्रह्मज्योति प्रदीप्ताय गुरु ज्योति नमोस्तुते बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सभी सम्मान्य अतिथिगणों का नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी अन्नपूर्णा सिंह डायरेक्टर सी एस आई आर सी एफ टी आर आई टू टेल अस मोर अबाउट द थीम एंड इवेंट ऑफ दिस इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ मिलिट्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मैम प्लीज हाँ 
सभी को मेरा नमस्कार अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल प्रेजेंट इट इज इंडीड अ ग्रेट ऑनर एंड प्रिवलेज फॉर मी टू ग्रीट आवर ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज डॉक्टर इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह ही इज ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज अर्थ साइंसेज of pmo pp dopt atomic energy and space indeed sir i really am honored and i thank you uh, profusely for giving your time a uh, very valuable time for this uh, particular event and um, apart from that um, i also thank the npl director for his uh, hospitality and uh, helping us to organize this event in npl all the csar family who are present over here uh i cannot take one name all of them are part of the family all the invitees a uh, special greeting to the cftri alumni who have come uh, uh, from different parts of uh, delhi and uh, surrounding areas other invitees uh, all the students who are present over here so we all have heard about millets but it was a part of our uh, traditional diet since vedic times and uh, unfortunately maybe for the past 5 to 6 decades we have uh, our plate has become less and less uh, filled with millets and uh, more of other cereals and many processed foods and uh, today we are rediscovering it and this is probably thanks to uh, the government of india emphasizing especially through um, in uh, 2018 when it was declared the national year of millets and that is when we started rediscovering the nutritional the health benefits and how safe they are how good they are for our health and so on and so forth so indeed uh, uh, csr cftri has been working since the past 7 decades on millets and other labs too are uh, now looking at millets from various uh, aspects which i would like to um, uh, tell you now so um this particular event has been organized by csr and it is aptly titled as csr innovations on millets and uh, if i can have the next thing. yeah so um over a period of time as the population on earth has been increasing slowly today we have uh, understood that it is no longer sustainable to have too much of animal foods on our plates and there is a problem because the climate is changing our biodiversity is decreasing our soil health is depleting and so on and so forth and most of the agriculture that is being produced also is getting wasted or it is uh, going in the form of animal feed so there is an urgent need for paradigm shift in the way we think about our food and we very soon by 2050 we may have around 10 billion people on earth how do we feed them so can india really uh, look at how it can feed the world and our traditional practices and food on our plate maybe they could have the answer so we really need to thank our honorable prime minister for declaring the national year of millets in 2018 when and these millets are actually uh, in line with all the sustainable goals of the un most of the goals can be uh, met if we think of millets as an alternative and it's more important because india is a leading producer of millets in 2020 uh, 41% of the global production came from india and almost 10 out of the 12 millets that are known are grown in india so we could have an edge and they are nutrient uh, dense they are climate friendly crops they are drought resistant they are health promoting even the protein quality is very good and they are low gi that is the glycemic index is low therefore the uh, blood glucose spike is reduced and they are healthy for uh, diabetic uh, people too so coming to csr innovations on millets uh, at this point we have uh, three labs that i have done some work and we have 40 plus technologies that are coming from csar cftri uh, many products have been developed by ihpt which is in palampur and niist in tiruvananthapuram 
and these innovations are in the uh, form of ingredients, products, processes and translational R&D, machinery design as well as skill development. So uh, CFTRI since 1950 has been working and we have very high uh, rated publications also in this field. It is a constituent lab of CSER and it is in Mysuru. We have our resource centers in three other places of Lucknow, Hyderabad and uh, Mumbai. We are ISO 9001-2008. So uh, coming to translational research, this is one example of the work that has been carried out where uh, diabetes has been induced in an animal model. And if the diabetic rat is fed with uh, finger millet seed coat material, you find that the cataract as well as the damage done to the kidneys can be reduced. And the bioactives of these are the phenolics as well as dietary fiber. So uh, under ingredients uh, today, uh, hopefully, uh, we are going to be tasting some of these products which are made from semolina. So all the foods that can be made from rice and wheat can also be made from uh, millets. And uh, we, this is something like societal, what we have done in the area of uh, millets. So no, we have done a lot of machine design. We do skill development. And uh, CSAR has also been doing nutritional intervention programs, especially in uh, uh, states, uh, in the Anganwadis, where uh, children uh, below the age of three are given uh, finger millet laddus, for example, in the state of Odisha, and also in the take-home rations. And there has been uh, in nutritional uh, um, parameters improvement in their anthropo through their anthropometric uh, parameters and so on, which we have seen. Also, the machinery design, it is important to note that all traditional foods of India need to be eaten warm. So uh, if there is a large crowd, then uh, we need to cater to that. And that is what uh, CSAR has attempted to do, to uh, design machines which will help in the processing of efficiently. So uh, our Honorable Minister has been kind enough to visit our institute and in May 2021 where we have released uh, products and we have demonstrated the, how these uh, machines work. And uh, now that we are in the international year of millets, it is very, very important to understand what is it that we need to do so that India can be on a global platform. And uh, um, under the leadership of our uh, DG, Dr. Kalai Selvi, who has been very encouraging, we have uh, ideas of having a mission uh, project and that would be initiated by understanding the gaps and challenges that are present in the uh, farm to fork or farm to plate. Uh, what are the things that need to be done? One is uh, there is a lack of dedicated machines for specially processing millets. So many of the CSAR labs with mechanical engineering background would be working on that. And then there is a low shelf life of millets because there are uh, active enzymes like lipases which reduce it. Then uh, if we want to export it, we need to increase the shelf life of these uh, products to at least nine months to one year. So this will be addressed. Then there are many, many varieties of uh, the uh, millets that are grown in different parts of the country. We need to understand which one is good, which one will have the right attributes, nutrition, um, be it safety or health benefits. And we need to scientifically validate the health claims. Traditionally, we know that they have a lot of health claims, but unless we prove how exactly is the mode of action, we would not be ha having a global uh, uh, consumer. Then we need to also popularize. Many people, even in our country today, have forgotten the nutritional benefits and health benefits of millets. So we need to educate our people to understand how healthy it is. And because of this, uh, we do have an uh, increase in diabetes and cardiovascular disease, which can be uh, maintained. So um, today, this event is specifically to uh, showcase the technologies that have been developed by CSAR and its network of laboratories, all the technologies under all these verticals, and also a uh, few of our startups and the industry, many of our alumni have come, sir, today, 
to this event and uh, we would like you if you have five minutes to interact with these people to and also uh, we have uh, designed a calendar uh, of CSAR innovations in millets which we would like uh, our honorable minister to be releasing uh, today even as we continue our endeavor in the service of the nation thank you Thank you so much, ma'am, to tell us more about the current innovations and research and development that are being going on in various CSIR labs. Now, I would request to kindly play the video on CSIR innovation on millets. पोषक आहार की पूरी दुनिया में डिमांड है आजकल जब हम ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग पोर्टल पे जाते हैं तो अक्सर हैरान हो जाते हैं जिस अनाज को कोई फ्री में लेने के लिए भी तैयार नहीं होता था वो सैकड़ों रुपए किलो के हिसाब से आज दुनिया के लोग ढूंढ रहे हैं are small seeded cereals and are an integral part of the Indian diet for centuries. It has been a source of income for marginal farmers of arid, semi-arid areas. They play a vital role in ecological and economic security of India. Due to its nutritional, nutraceutical and health promoting properties, today millets have earned the reputation of being the superfood for management of lifestyle related diseases they are good sources of minerals dietary fiber contains essential amino acids and are gluten free they are also rich in nutraceuticals like phenolics flavonoids tocopherols phytosterols carotenoids etc millets have lower glycemic index or gi its hyperlipidemic and blood pressure lowering effect makes it cardioprotective and it also helps in weight reduction. Millet diversity includes major millets like sorghum, pearl millet and finger millet as well as small millets like barnyard, little millets, kodo, Foxtail, Proso, and Brown Top. Other millets like Job Steers, Tef, and Fonio are also gaining popularity. India is one of the leading producers and suppliers of millet. The main millet growing states in India are Rajasthan. Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. States like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Uttarakhand are also producing millets. With the aim to create awareness and increase production and consumption of millets, United Nations at the behest of the Government of India declared 2023 the International Year of Millets. To commemorate this, my gov is hosting various interactive activities around millets. It is being celebrated to make it people's movement so that the Indian millets, recipes, value-added products are accepted globally. CSIR is an autonomous body under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. Since its inception in 1942, CSIR has played a major role in nation-building through scientific and technological innovations, research and skill development. The Honorable Prime Minister is the President of the Governing Body of CSIR and the Honorable Minister of Science and Technology is the Vice President. CSIR 
has a dedicated lab, CSIR Central Food Technological Research Institute at Mysuru, which has done pioneering work on millets with the initiative of founder director way back in 1950. And subsequently, number of innovations happened in basic research, processing, product, technology, and machinery development. This has resulted in around 150 publications, 20 PhDs, 40 technologies which were transferred to more than 75 entrepreneurs, mainly in the MSME sector. The institute has also provided skill development to around 1500 self-help groups, farmers, rural women and startups to popularize millet-based foods. Value addition of millets including primary and secondary processing. Primary processing is generally carried out on the millets at producer's level, which improves millet quality, transforms the grain into more useful form. It includes cleaning, dehulling, sorting, polishing, purling, grading, size reduction, grinding, drying, and storage. Under secondary processing, Unit operations are carried out on millets, either directly or after primary processing, to transform them into products, generally for direct consumption. They are done usually away from farm, either in unorganized or inorganized sectors. They include milling, puffing, flaking, baking, and value-added products of millets. Machineries developed are destoner, Pedal operated D Haller, Tiny Millet Mill, Ragi Mudde Machine, Jawar Roti Making Machine. Millet based processed products made by scientific innovations are convenient and shelf stable flours. Breakfast products like roti, mixes of idli, upma. Puffed and popped products, novel products like millet flakes, noodles vermicelli, ragi rice. Beverage mixes like weaning and vaulted food, snack products like millet bar, papar, muruku, halwa, and burfi mix, and bakery products like bread, biscuits, and cookies. Translation of scientific innovations for societal benefits are carried out through supporting the government schemes in community nutrition, training programs to women self help groups, MSMEs, etc. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, has been emphasizing on the need for developing scaled technologies through the supply chain for millets on a global platform. And CSIR would be on the right medium for implementing these along with partners like ICAR, ICMR, FSSAI and other agencies to make India the global leader in millets. Our Honorable Minister of Science and Technology and Vice President, Dr. Jitendra Singh has also directed our mission on serving the practical needs of the nation. CSIR, through its network of labs, can help through innovations in science and technology to address the gaps and challenges existing in positioning millets and millet-based products on a global platform, thereby ensuring better income, especially to small and marginalized farmers and increase exports. To achieve this, there are gaps and challenges that need to be addressed. Millets are available in large scale, but are region specific. There is a lack of dedicated machinery for millet processing. The grains have an enzyme, lipase, that affects the stability adversely and reduces the shelf life of the millet foods. Poor awareness among people of the nutritive value of these ancient grains lack of availability of convenience and tasty millet products in the market. Packaging and branding for domestic and global market. Other aspects like testing and analysis of nutrients, nutraceuticals, scientific validation of health benefits, clinical studies, toxicological safety also can be researched by CSIR through its network of laboratories. CSIR under the leadership of Dr. Kailai Selvi, DGCSIR and Secretary DSIR 
is also initiating a millets mission program on various themes with participation of more than 10 laboratories to provide holistic solutions to the challenge of making India a major supplier and exporter of millet-based technologies. Thank you so much. Now it's time for the sharing of experiences by various startups and uh, who are working on the CSIR technologies in this uh, field. So first of all, I would like to invite Mr. B.D. Nagraju to kindly deliver his uh, experience. Uh, respected uh, Honorable Minister Ji, respected uh, Director CSAR NPL, and uh, respected uh, Director CSIR CFTRI, all my scientific fraternity and students, good afternoon and my pranamas to all. Basically, I am a mechanical engineer. Uh, so while uh, when I was in service in safety RI, uh, we have developed uh, machines on millets. One is ragi ball making, making machine. It produces around uh, 250 ragi balls per hour. Another one is the jawa roting making machine, that is sorghum. And one more is Makana processing machines. All these three machines are designed, developed at our food engineering department. And technology has been already sold from CFTRI. Many people have taken it, especially ragi ball making machines installed in various uh, places like uh, industries and uh, some in uh, government organizations, namely DRDO, automotive axles, and uh, police training schools, in many places like that. So actually this, um, what I can say is, ragi ball consumption is uh, much more convenient. And supplement of calcium, if you can say, supplement of calcium is around 400 gram per charge, 400 milligram per 100 gram. So consumption level will be, calcium will be higher. So like that, keeping that in view, we have developed all these three machines and uh, the CFTRI has transferred the technology. With this experience, keeping with this experience, I availed the technology from CFTRI for development of the product like uh, Millet Health Drink Mix and Makana Health Drink Mix. Millet Health Drink Mix is combination of uh, nearly about six millets, all pulses and spices together and uh, dry fruits, almond, cashew nuts and uh, walnuts. All these things are mixed together, roasted, cleaned thoroughly, roasted and powdered. And makana. Makana also, uh, along with the makana, are pulses, millets and dry fruits and spices. Why I have taken the makana is, I think it is a mission mode activity. Our Hanover Road Prime Minister vision is unity in diversity. Because we are linking from northeast to south. South region is production of millets, whereas the northeast region is production of uh, makana. These binding, both makana and millet, carries together nearly about calcium and potassium, rich in potassium, rich in calcium, 
so that it uh, needs in the the later part of the life and as well as the uh, early part of the life say about 5 years to 15 years one need to supplement with calcium potassium to strengthen the bone whereas from 55 years to 100 years one need to supply with uh, calcium and uh, potassium so that it can reduce the risk of bp sugar all these thing ailments so keeping it that, that into mind i have taken up this initiated my uh, career after my supervision so the i have installed one small industry which uh, will develop the, all these two products i have already uh, kept the product so now we are uh, supplying in the south region both makana helting mix and uh, uh, millet helting mix actually makana helting millet helting mix both has to be mixed with cold water and milk then it has to be boiled for 2 3 minutes and drink it it will be wonderful product i think so all of you can uh, see the product and uh, their brochures are available then the uh, the all my details will be available in the counter you can take it whenever you want you can just you can call me we can supply the product also as far as the see cftr is concerned so not only giving the technology they are supporting uh, all the way like uh, creating a platform platform like this and supporting us the in the marketing also so wonderfully we are uh, uh, doing this uh, job so like this uh, this uh, all the products is uh, hygienically processed packed and sold so this is my experience so i wanted to present some of the my product to honorable minister and all dignitaries thank you so much mr vidhi nagraju now i would request if uh, any of the representative from big basket is present in the audience uh, please come on the stage and uh, please share your experience in one or two minutes good afternoon honorable minister ji and respectable cftri team and csir team to giving this opportunity here i am from big basket which is online supermarket groceries uh, we have a wide range of millet and millet based value added products on uh, big baskets uh, in own brands and uh, we are working uh, with cftri teams on multiple uh, millet based valued products we are recently launched millet based and uh, pulses based flour pr uh, products on sites and uh, we are working with cftri teams on uh, diabetic patients millet based flour products which are working and uh, recently we have launched millet based valued process product for children and uh, youngers so thank you so much for safety i teams for uh, giving technologies to us and uh, we are uh, we are working value added products millet pro millet based products for uh, diabetic patients and uh, athletics and uh, we are processed for uh, uh, child children's to floors and uh, millet based product millet based products to them and thank you so much to the teams to giving this opportunities thank you so much thank you so much sir 
Now I would request Colonel Sachin Vasist, alumni from CFTRI, to please deliver his speech. Thank you. Uh, very good morning, uh, Minister of Science and Technology, Directors and PL and CFTRI. It is a proud privilege for me to share my experience in front of uh, this August gathering. I am an alumni of CFTRI. I did my MSc in food technology from 2002 to 2004. Thereafter, I got uh, posted to uh, the quality control labs. Uh, total four years I have served in quality control labs which are there in army. At present, the staple cereal for the armed forces of Indian Army is uh, uh, they are basically rice and wheat. But as I can gather, there is a wide scope uh, wherein uh, the millets can be introduced and uh, uh, especially it can be consumed as, uh, as such as the staple food as well as uh, malted foods or value added products which can be a good substitute for uh, things like Bonvita and Maltova and other things which are there part of the diet. Uh, however, that the thing which, requ which is required is to have a kind of a network, uh, assured supplies, so that uh, the organizations like armed forces or uh, paramilitary forces, they can procure these items on a, uh, on a continuous and a regular basis. And uh, there are a lot of takeaways and uh, I am very sanguine and hopeful that in times to come, since this is basically our uh, basic diet, wheat and rice have been introduced much later. So th uh, the staple diet of our populace is millets. So in times to come, I am very sanguine that this uh, product will get introduced in Indian Army and uh, probably in my service I will see uh, this getting consumed. Uh, thank you so much, uh, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Next, we have Mr. Sanjay Iqbal, business head from Ankush Private Limited. I would request you to please come on the stage and uh, deliver your talk. more than two and a half decades. Uh, we as uh, products of CFTRI, uh, we have been in the industry for, uh, you know, almost 25, 30 years. Uh, the kind of revolution what we are seeing now on the millets, uh, Dr. Jitendra, is, is amazing. And I think thanks to uh, 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 Prime Minister, uh, Ministry, CSAR, who is really, really uh, promoting uh, millets, uh, it's to the extent that, you know, a lot of industry colleagues, a lot of uh, personal friends uh, who are uh, with me in my entire career journey, they're actually looking at millets as an opportunity. And, and incidentally, uh, you know, most of, of my colleagues who are there in the industry, they are looking at health as a major platform. And Dr. Jitendra, I, I share one thing common with you. I'm from, I'm from Jammu. So we are, we are looking at, you know, setting up uh, opportunities, giving an opportunity to people back in JNK uh, around millets or any of those health benefits around millets, whether it's at a consumer level or whether it's a health level. So uh, uh, being part of uh, Alumini, uh, I think I sincerely thank uh, CSAR uh, for taking this initiative on millets, which probably for me is turning out to be a revolution. Uh, I think it's awareness, uh, which is a little bit of a gap now. People do understand the importance of millets. We have been consuming millets in our homes. Uh, as, as someone said, uh, you know, 50, 70 years, we have lost touch with millets. But I think it's time to uh, initiate that uh, emotional health and, and commercial uh, linkage with millets. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now it's time for the release of calendar of uh, this 
CSIR innovations on millets. So I would request all the respected dignitaries to please come forward. Dr. Jitendra Singh, Honorable Minister of State, Independent Charge, Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, and also Vice President of CSIR. Please give a big round of applause to all the respected dignitaries on DICE. Thank you so much, sir. I would now request all the dignitaries to please take your seat. Please give a big round of applause for all the respected people present on the dice. Thank you so much, sir. I would now request Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Jitendra Singh, to kindly deliver his speech. Honorable Minister, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Independent Charge, Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, and also the Vice President of CSIR. Welcome, sir. Director CFTRI, Dr. Sri Devi, Director NPL, Professor Vinu Gopal. I can see number of uh, directors over here. The fraternity team from CFTRI, dear students. I know whether we realize today or not, we are simultaneously celebrating more than one aspects. We are celebrating millets, we are celebrating nutrition, we are celebrating health, and above all, we are celebrating India. And uh, all this has been possible because of the vision, the drive, the motivation of Honorable Prime Minister Shri Modi. And it gives me an added pleasure and pride to think that it's been twice in this term of eight and a half years that India has had the privilege to suggest to the world first 
to celebrate yoga and now to celebrate merits. And soon after he took over as Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji proposed to the UN and we had the International Day of Yoga. In 2018, as was being mentioned by Dr. Sri Devi, we celebrated the International Year of Millets in India and thereafter India proposed it to the UN and today the entire world is celebrating it. I'm sure one day some historians or analysts would try to discover answers why this couldn't have happened over the last seven decades because the millets has been there for centuries amongst us as was being mentioned by the speakers here. Well, maybe it was destiny's will that somebody like Mr. Modi has to take over to lead us into that direction because the prioritization of the earlier governments might have been different. Nevertheless, I think now that we are on track to make up for the last 50, 60 years, as was being mentioned, I think, by Ankush, it is also time to realize the huge resource that we had amongst us, but which remained underutilized or unutilized. And also for a country like India, which has uh, always faced issues related to food in one way or the other. Just before independence, we had famine, for which, of course, to a great extent, the historians blame the then British government. The ships didn't arrive on time. They were not unloaded, etc., etc., and followed by all kind of epidemics. Then soon after independence, in the earlier years, we had the issue of food scarcity. Gradually, we became food sufficient, but we didn't become nutritional. So I think it's also important to understand overcoming food scarcity does not necessarily mean overcoming malnutrition or undernutrition. And even today in India, we have about more than 22 crore of undernourished people but what we often don't talk about, and it's often not discussed also, is that equally much is the problem of those who are overnutritioned in a wrong way, who eat what they are not supposed to eat, don't eat what they are supposed to eat, become obese, chubby little babies celebrated by their parents, by their teachers, but they are predisposed to a host of other diseases in later life. And in fact, it doesn't sound very pleasant, but each chubby baby is actually a harbinger of the future metabolic disorder, maybe a diabetes or a coronary vascular disease. And therefore, what to eat, what not to eat has always been an issue with Indians. Even our uh, nutritionists, our dietitians take uh, pride in preparing all kind of fancy charts which will keep you hooked to your diary, what to eat on Monday, what to eat on Tuesday, what to eat on Wednesday, what to skip on which day. But what often happens is, I think that's also the members of my fraternity, the medical fraternity are responsible, that we tend to counsel the patient about what to eat, what not to eat, but not always about when to eat. If you go to the intricacies of uh, diet science, and in the medical parlance, there are three larger components of a meal plan. The quality, quantity and distribution. Sometimes, of course, the quantity is taken care of because you want to look slim, thin, to be, you know, good on the screen. Sometimes the quality is taken care of, but often nobody emphasizes on the timing. So why I'm saying so is that when we make the optimum use of millets, we have to first educate the people in general and those who require it the most about the basics of nutrition, which are seldom followed in this country. Now, for example, 
one common convention over here is that have a large meal in the morning or heavy breakfast. It's often said. I mean, even the parents keep teaching their children whereas it is the other way around the word breakfast was coined by the Britisher by the Englishman and it means break the fast it does not mean that you eat for all the fast to come together so you break the fast with just about 20 to 25 percent of the total calorie intake of 24 hours which we seldom follow in this country and then you follow it with a mid-morning snack, which could be just about 5-10%. And your heaviest meal is then lunch, maybe 35% or so. Followed by an early dinner, which is the counterpart of supper over there, about 8 o'clock. And then a mid-bedtime snack, about 10%. So unless we follow these basics, even if we take millets instead of wheat, we would not be able to prevent ourselves from the diseases which might be waiting in store and for which to which our phenotype is predisposed. So I think when we are into this year of minutes, we have an opportunity and I must compliment CFTRIA. They are very much into this even before the year was announced. I think this is also an opportunity for them to make themselves visible before the rest of the country. Because functioning from Mysore, they were hardly noticed. But when this year was announced, and I happened to be there in Dr. Sri Devi's institute just about two months back, it suddenly occurred to us, why not we celebrate? Because we are dealing with this. So how would others know that we are also somewhere in two minutes? And of course, the nutritional properties, if you count, has been already mentioned by the earlier speakers. This is a product which is rich in protein, which is rich in essential vitamins, rich also in uh, minerals, and above also in fiber. So what, I think one of the speakers was mentioning that, uh, yeah, this, uh, that bazaar, best bazaar person representative was saying that this product could actually reduce cataract and all. I am not sure about that, but yes, certainly this, uh, because the fiber contains other things, act as an adjuvant to the anti-diabetic therapy. They may not be a cure in itself. So, which is of course true with all the fiber-rich products. And therefore, by reducing your glycemic levels, it could also reduce the progress of your complications, which of course includes lenticular opacity in the form of cataracts, kidney, etc. So in that way, it is like that. It's not that if you eat millets, you will not get diabetes or you will get reversed. But certainly, this would be a preferred product. But how to use it, that is very essential. And that's why I'm trying to emphasize that because I'm supposed to speak over here as a chief guest or more as a minister rather than a keynote speaker. So I will not get into that indulgence, but someday I wish we have a larger conference and I can take a special session on that. Because otherwise, just having it would not be enough. Now, from the point of view of the science and technology minister and the ministry, I think there's another feature also to be celebrated over here which has, I think, largely gone unnoticed by the audience. Startup does not mean it is only for the youth. We have Mr. Nagaraju, who has become a startup after 60. So this is a message which has to go loud and clear. I have been at pains telling wherever I go. Don't get confused. Startup is only meant for youth. Of course, we emphasize on youth because it can provide a source of livelihood and therefore instead of depending on a salaried job provided by the government, you could actually create your own job which could be much more lucrative. And from that point of view, of course, it becomes very relevant for youth. But that does not prevent those who don't appear to be youth are still youth to be indulging in those as is Nagarajudev, he is one of our super-innovated 
colleagues and come out with a lot of innovation with those fancy products. Secondly, startup is not necessarily IT. Somehow, I think the state which from where Dr. Sri Devi belongs is responsible for having created this myth. <laughs> the state of Karnataka. Because somehow the startup movement caught up from Karnataka. And since the Karnataka was, the Bangalore was getting synonymous with IT. So everybody thought it's only if you are an IT expert, you could be a startup. Now this is an example of agri startup. Or you could even specify, you could say millet startup. So you may not be an IT student or an IT scholar. So these are some of, now that we are also into this startup India, stand up India movement being heralded by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is also something that we owe to educate our masses. The startup no age, startup need not necessarily be science, startup need not necessarily be IT. You could start up anywhere and in fact in India we have resources richer than IIT. For example, this agriculture is a huge resource which has remained unexplored. And ocean resource is the one which is going to come up in the times to come. And therefore, when we pass through this year, I'm sure we will be able to and the industry will get more and more connected with this uh, area of uh, recipe and they will be coming out with more and more recipes so that it becomes much, much more palatable. When I was going through that, I was, I sh was taking quite a keen interest and I was shown that powder which you prepared for children and which oh, I was told is something like Horlicks. But my first response was, does it taste like Horlicks? Now because I have been a practitioner my, my life, you know, seeing all sorts of people all these years. So, Horlicks is something with the child relish is taking. Even if he or she does not know what is the nutritional value, just place a bottle of Horlicks among children, you will find some of them gulping it just like that. So you have to make it palatable enough to attract the taste and the palate of those who actually require it. And for that I think the year that we are going through is going to provide enough of incentivization, also motivation to the industry. So linking industry, as was being said, with our institute is something that we might have achieved at the end of this year. So congratulations once again, Dr. Sri Devi. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing this occasion with your presence as well as with your kind words. Now I would request Dr. Sri Devi Annapurna Singh, Director, CSIR, CFTRI, to kindly felicitate our chief guest with a shawl and a memento as a token of respect. Please give a big round of applause to all the dignitaries. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now, I would request Sri Satendra Rao, Chief Scientist, CSIR, CFTRI, for a vote of thanks. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As we inch uh, towards the end of this program, I have the proud privilege of proposing a uh, word of thanks. On behalf of DG CSAR, Director CSAR CFTRI and CSR NPL, I profusely thank Honorable Mantriji, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, Honorable Minister of State, Independent Charge, Science and Technology in the Sciences, and Vice President CSAR, 
Minister of State uh, for uh, Prime Minister's Office, Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions, Department of Atomic Energy and Department of Space for accepting our invitation, gracing the occasion, witnessing the display of CSAR's technologies on uh, millets, releasing the desk calendar, marking the International Year of Millets. Thank you very much, sir, for taking the time off your busy schedule to be with us and inspiring us to do more. You said make in India, make uh, India the global food hub, millet hub, make India food secure, nutrition secured, and make India eat right and millet make it the master class. Thank you very much, sir, for making those special uh, comments and suggestions. We are extremely thankful uh, to our uh, DG CSAR Secretary DSAR Dr. Kalai Salviji for giving us an opportunity to conduct this event and being the driving force and guiding spirit. On behalf of Director CSAR, CFTRI and CSR, uh, CSAR NPL, I place on record the heartfelt thanks to our DG in absentia. CSR headquarters has always played a key role in making things happen. They have extended complete helping hand and supported the cause. Connecting dots, mobilizing support and getting the program the necessary momentum. Special thanks are due to Dr. Satyanarayana, Dr. Mahesh and Dr. Purnima Rupal for the extraordinary support. We owe a lot to entire CSAR headquarters team and we thank them profusely. We are witnessing CSAR CFTRI's event at CSAR NPL. This would not have been possible without CSAR NPL playing the great host and supporting wholeheartedly. On behalf of Director CSAR CFTRI, I thank Professor Venugopal Achanta, Director CSAR NPL, for all the support and hospitality and managing the infrastructure at NPL. We thank uh, the directors of other CSAR labs who are present here who had made this occasion more visible and uh, that actually carries a lot of, uh, you know, kind of togetherness for CSAR family and we feel very proud to have them all uh, during this function. We were ably supported by our team CSR NPL for conducting this event very smoothly. We never had any issue. So we thought whenever we asked for help, CSR NPL was always there behind and supporting us. We are extremely indebted to them and thank them for their great hand-holding. <laughs> CSR CFTRI has more than 4,000 licensees to whom we have transferred technologies under different food verticals. Today we had two of our licensees with us who talked about our technologies and how they could actually use them. And one was our own, as uh, Mantriji said, is our own CFTRI man who post uh, super animation took our own technologies and started his startup. So that was one thing. On the other side of uh, the band is the Tatas, the big basket, who are also using our technologies. And millets are just one, and they also have taken other technologies, use our technologies. They cut vegetables technologies. In fact, they have a great, given a great name to the technology. They call it CFTRI's Nutri-Lock. So we've been in touch with industries across levels, and I think that has made the difference. And I uh, thank both of them on behalf of the organizers for being here and uh, supporting the cause. About 20 of our alumni are present here and I thank them for being our torch bearers and for being present here and we continue to uh, you know, seek your uh, support in all of our programs that we want to do, not just during the International Year of Millets and any other program that we do because you are all holding you know, great positions in the food processing industry and I think this should be the real starting point where we start working together and hold hands for better uh, returns for the country. I thank the press and media here present here for their presence and uh, uh, helping us communicate the spirit of technologies and importance of millets all across the country and the globe. CSIR, NIAST and CSR, IHBT, apart from their R&D in their niche areas, also are contributing towards food. Their contribution to the cause of millets are also highlighted in the desk calendar that was released today. I thank these CSAR labs for their contribution. I thank the compere, I think the one which may go unnoticed, Ms. Shika, for nicely conducting the event. T. 
Team CSAR CFTRA has worked in millets for nearly seven decades. I thank Team CSAR CFTRA for their contributions. Team has worked under the stewardship of Dr. Sridevi Annapurna Singh, and I thank her and Team CFTRA. Because this was not very easy coming out from our roots and then playing, uh, you know, this part here. Uh, there are many names and personalities uh, who have helped us in the smooth conduct of this event. Our thanks are due to all those who have supported us directly or indirectly. Thank you all once again. It's been a great audience here. Thank you once again. Thank you all. Jai Hind. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर कार्यक्रम की श्रृंखला को आगे बढ़ाते हुए अब हम कार्यक्रम के अंतिम चरण में पहुंच चुके हैं मैं यहां उपस्थित आप सभी गणमान्य नागरिकों से निवेदन करना चाहूंगी कि अपने स्थान पर राष्ट्रगान के सम्मान हेतु खड़े हो जाएं जनगढ़ मन Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Kaviya Utkala Vanga Vindhya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhi Taranga Tava Shubha Nami Jage Tava Shubha Nashi Shamaage Gaye Tava Jaya Gatha बहुत धन्यवाद आप सभी उपस्थित नागरिकों का इस कार्यक्रम को सफल बनाने के लिए I would like to request all the dignitaries to kindly proceed towards the VIP hall for the millets lunch and uh, the lunch has been organized for uh, all the people uh, so I would request all the alumni from CFTRI to uh, kindly proceed towards the NPL, NPL cafeteria and uh, rest of the audience, including students of CSIR, NPL and others, uh, please proceed towards the Dr. A.R. Verma lawn in front of the uh, auditorium. Thank you so much. <laughs>